Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share how I made over my daughter's bedroom and stay tuned for a big reveal at the very end of this video. So let's start from the very beginning. I wanted to share what this room looked like prior to doing anything to it. This is right when we moved into our house. This is the light fixture that came in this room. This is, I mean, totally a blank slate. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Caitlin, and this is my daughter, Scarlett, who you see running around. She just turned four, and on my channel, you're going to find everything from lifestyle content to day-in-the-life vlogs to cooking, cleaning, decorating, organizing, so many different things I cover on my channel, but my absolute favorite types of videos to film are room makeover videos like this, so I hope you guys enjoy this. The one request Scarlett had for her bedroom was to have a pink bedroom. So we're going to be adding a lot of pink to this bedroom, starting with the light fixture. That old light fixture had to go. I was not a fan. So I found this beautiful light fixture from Lulu in Georgia and it's like a ombre pink and it has a gold accent and it was just gorgeous. So right now I'm just going through and fluffing it up a little bit because it definitely needs some TLC once you get it out of the box and get it up. Next thing, we are going to completely clear out this space because I am going to be installing our removable wallpaper by Loomwell. I had this in Scarlett's old bedroom and I cannot recommend it enough. It is the easiest way to transform a space. This removable wallpaper is incredibly easy to install. I installed it by myself because I was impatient and didn't wait for Ty to get home and I wanted to get it done, but it definitely would be easier if you had two people to install it. But it comes in these panels and you just follow the numbers. So you install panel one first. You know how many panels you need because on their website, you're able to type in the dimensions of your wall and that tells you exactly how many panels you're gonna need. So it's very easy to figure out. You just have to know the size of your wall. The number one question I always get asked about this removable wallpaper is does it damage the walls? And I can truthfully say, no, it does not. I had our last wallpaper up in Scarlett's old room, like I said, for over a year and it did not damage the walls even slightly. I actually filmed myself uh, removing the wallpaper, so I'll leave that video linked down below in case you guys wanna see how that process worked. But I cannot recommend this enough, especially if you're renting a space or uh, have trouble committing. Wallpaper is a big commitment, so if you have trouble committing, this is definitely a good route to go because this wallpaper is so easy to switch out. But Loomwell has so many beautiful, different types of wallpaper. Highly recommend them. I will make sure to leave a link to them down below. So another question I get asked when I am decorating a room is how do I get my inspiration? Where does my inspiration come from? How do I plan out everything? And I am definitely a visual person, so I use like Photoshop or something like that. I do some kind of collage where I can see the items go together, and that is definitely like the biggest help for me. Most of my inspiration comes from Pinterest or honestly the product itself. I feel like I'm very inspired when I see a piece of furniture that I love or a print that I love or the wallpaper that I love, something like that. So for Scarlett's room, I knew I wanted to bring in a lot of different textures and obviously pink because she requested pink, that was what she wanted. And I'm naturally drawn towards like a boho vibe, so I knew it reflect that in some way but I also wanted to keep this room very girly and I feel like with the pink and the gold that brings kind of that like girly look to it but there's still some boho touches in this bedroom as well so I don't know exactly uh, what the style of this room is but I would say it's a mixture between like a boho girly vibe I don't know let me know what you guys think 
So we did get Scarlet new furniture. We did keep her dresser, but everything else is new. You guys can see some new nightstands back there. And then we did get her a bigger bed. This is a full size bed. I was torn between a full and a queen, but I went with a full. I feel like it'll be big enough for her and also big enough for guests. The reason I wanted to get Scarlet a bigger bed was because this is going to potentially be a guest room too if we need it. If my mom or dad come to visit, they will probably end up using Scarlet's room in the future because our guest room will turn into a nursery. And I know Scarlet will not mind being kicked out of her room if grandma and papa are coming to visit. I know she'll love to sleep with us, so it won't be a big deal at all, especially while she's younger. But her bed came from Crate and Kids and then her nightstands came from Anthropology, and then this bench that I'm putting together came from Target, and I think it's just so cute. It's like a velvet pink, and it has gold legs. Also, you're probably going to see a few random things in Scarlett's room. I am so indecisive when it comes to decorating sometimes, and I just have to have things like laying there. Uh, and I have to look at them for a while to see if I like them, like these mirrors that are on her nightstand. Those actually ended up going in our master bedroom, but I had them originally in her bedroom. But things like that, I just have to look at for a while and then to decide if I like them. We are moving on to some DIY now. So this might look familiar if you have followed along for a while. I've had this scarlet cut out um, for, gosh, I don't even know, a couple years. This goes all the way back to our old house, which is a long time ago. But I wanted to give this a little bit of a refresh since we kind of went away from the natural wood look, which was like basically her old room. So I went ahead and sprayed all of this gold. I also want to mention if you guys are looking for links or see anything in this video that you like or interested where I got it from, I will be linking everything down below in the description box. So definitely make sure to check that out. All right, so next I'm going to add some functional decor. This is gonna be a little shelf with a bar underneath it where I can hang up some of Scarlett's outfits and dresses. I always love doing something like this in her bedroom. I feel like it just adds a personal touch to a bedroom. You guys definitely saw something similar uh, in Scarlett's old bedroom like this, but this is just, I guess, a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, this shelf came from Etsy that you guys are gonna see here in a second, and I had her custom make it, so it was painted white uh, with the gold bars. Next, I'm going through and just adding some decor to the shelf. I went ahead and hung up this photo, which is from Target. I'm gonna go through all the details here in a bit uh, when we do the reveal, which is actually coming up right now. So you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this transformation, this bedroom makeover for my daughter? I'm so excited to share this and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump on in to the reveal of my daughter's bedroom. I'm so excited. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I feel like this is quite the transformation and I'm just so happy with how everything turned out. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this room and share where everything's from in case you're interested. And starting with this rug. I wanted a very simple rug for Scarlett's room and I found this jute rug from World Market and it was perfect. I think it's a five by eight. Scarlett's bed is the Larkin gold frame from Creighton Kids, and then her cheetah sheets are from Anthropology. Her white comforter is from Target, and then her blanket, this beautiful blanket, is also from Anthropology. 
The big white pillows are from Target and then the like a sunset pillow that one's from World Market and then the little stuffed animal is from Cuddle and Kind. I showed you guys this light fixture earlier. It's from Lulu and Georgia. These frames are from Target and then the prints came from a small shop on Etsy. I thought they were beautiful. The wood name cutout came from Jane.com. I got it a long time ago though but I know you can get these off of Etsy and I know they are on Jane.com occasionally as well. The decor either came from Target or at home. The lamp is from Target and then the actual nightstand is from Anthropology. She has two of them. And then also this little nightlight is the Hatch Nursery. It's her sound machine and also her nightlight. Her other nightstand, I have some books. I have her ultrasound photo. And then this um, little light is from Little Bell Lights. It's so cute. I don't remember where the Be Kind sign is from. Um, and then the snow globe I got at Target. That is actually a tradition every year. Scarlet gets a new snow globe. And this is the one she got this year. I asked Scarlet if she wanted a plant in her room like mommy and she said yes. So I thought that was just so cute. So I went ahead and moved one of my house plants into her bedroom and I think it goes beautifully in here. The plant is a bird of paradise and it's sitting in a pot from World Market. This little bench under her window is from Target and the tiger pillow is also from Target. And then the little rainbow pillow is from a small shop, which I'll have linked below. We had these plantation shutters installed to all of our windows in our house, including Scarlett's room. And I love them because they block so much light. The curtains did come with our home. Our home was a formal model home. So there were curtains up with like a little tiny rod. So I went ahead and switched out that rod with this pretty gold rod just to make it look a little bit more complete. And then I also have her little lollipop baby cam attached to the curtain rod so I can check in on her when she's sleeping. This little fringe mirror came from Target and then her dresser we've had for a couple years. It is from Wayfair and I have a bunch of decor that's just kind of like random on top of it. Again, at home or Target or World Market, that's kind of my go-to for decor. This framed photo was perfect for her room. I found this at Home Goods. I was so excited because it matches so well. And then I also have another plant. This is a real plant um, sitting on her dresser as well. And then on the opposite wall, I have this mirror leaned up. Hopefully this is okay like this. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous having it leaning against the wall, but I think she'll be okay with it, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, but this mirror did come from Target and this is something I previously had. I just moved into her room and then she has a little dream catcher on it too that came from my girlfriend Bailey. And then this little wall is so fun. It's like a little collage wall. The shelf came from a small shop on Etsy. I had her paint it white with a gold bar and I think it fits so perfectly with the space. I wanted somewhere I could hang up some of Scarlett's dresses. So I just love how it turned out. The hand is from Ikea. The picture frame is from Target and the little first aid kit mouse and rainbow is from my friend's shop, Your Little Dove. The vase and flowers are from World Market. The skull is from Z Gallery and this little fringe macrame piece is from Target as well. And I couldn't not share this with you guys. This is Scarlett's closet that is not completely organized, but it definitely could be worse. But I thought I'd share some real life behind the scenes. Uh, not everything is perfect in here, although her room is so cute. I still need to work on her closet and this is kind of what it looks like. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. And last but not least, let's just talk about the staple piece of the room, which is the wallpaper from Loomwell. This really just makes the room. It's definitely a bold statement in my opinion, at least for us, <laughs> having a, a bright pink wall. Um, and Scarlett loves it. She's been so happy having her pink room. I'm really happy with how this all turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and seeing this little makeover come to life. I'm beyond grateful to be able to give my daughter such a beautiful space and I know she loves it and appreciates it and I had so much fun doing this for her. So thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.